Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be telling you more about the newly released Katie Box Pro from Gold Shell. We will be looking at the differences between the older Katie Box in terms of its profitability, power consumption, and hash rate. I will also be showing you how to set up this Katie Box Pro and how to set it up to a mining pool to start mining. Alright, so at first glance, you can see that it looks almost identical to the KD Box. Similar to the KD Box, the Pro also has a Wi-Fi dongle, which means you only need a place with good Wi-Fi coverage to start mining. At the first setup, you will need an Ethernet cable to hook it up to the Wi-Fi. Thereafter, there is no need for you to run it on LAN cable, you will just need a power supply. Okay, so right now I already have the KD Pro up and running. You can see that it has a very colorful and different lights. In terms of the hash rate, the KD Pro has a higher hash rate with 2.6 terahash per second as compared to the older KD Box that only has 1.6 terahash per second. For the power consumption, the Pro uses 230 watts while the KD Box uses 205 watts. At the current price, the KD Pro can make about 450 US dollars a month. Electricity is also about 35 to 40 dollars a month. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the KD Pro. We have to first find its IP address. To do that, I am using the advanced port scanner. Click on IP, then scan. It will show you all the devices connected to your network. Okay, we have to look out for this device called QSDK with a blue icon. Okay, alright, so the computer icon on the left should be blue, which means online. If it is grey, means it's offline. Wait a while for it to finish scanning. When it is done scanning, copy the IP address there and paste it on a web browser. After you paste it on the web browser, you should see the Gold Shell admin page. When you're here, the default language is Chinese. Go to the top right corner where the China flag is and change the language to English. After this is done, you will have to unlock the machine. Click on the unlock icon and enter the password. The default password is 12345678 So on this page, it shows the information of the miner of the KD Box Pro. And then you will have to click on Miner on the left menu and you should see the Pool Settings section. This is where you configure the miner to join a pool to mine KDA coin. I have a pool entered earlier, so I will remove the pool and add it again. Under Pool Configuration, you can click on the F2 Pool or DX Pool buttons to set the URL. For me, I have been using Pool Flare for some time, so today I will be showing you how to link up to Pool Flare. Go to poolflare.net and click on Kadena. So now we have to copy the pool address that is closest to your physical location. I am in Singapore, so I will use Asia Pool. Select the pool address and copy and paste the pool address on the URL. For the miner name, you will have to input your KDA wallet address and name your miner. I will be going back to poolflare to copy my wallet address and paste it here. Add a full stop followed by what I want to name my KD Pro. For me, I name this KD Pro 1. Then click apply. Within a few seconds, the grey spade at the pool settings should turn green, which means it's already mining. To make sure the KD Pro is really mining, you can go back to your pool flare wallet. Scroll down to the bottom, you should see it hashing already. See, the KD Pro 1 is currently hashing around 1.31T. Give it some time and it will be about 2.6T like the rest of my KD Pro. Right now, I will be testing the temperature of the miner. The air intake is around 23 degrees Celsius and the output is about 32 degrees Celsius. Now, I will be testing the noise level of the miner. It is around 48 decibels. 
So where can you purchase this KD Box Pro? I will be listing a website down in the description box below. It is called GoatDigitalAsset.com. GOAT stands for greatest of all time. However, you do have to note that prices of miners often change daily because of the market conditions. So if you wish to purchase a specific miner from me, you can either click on the button uh, in the website to contact me directly on WhatsApp or you can just simply DM me or email me which I will also be linking down in the description box below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe.